So Brady, here's the classic periodic table of elements and you've made an entire series of videos about these things. So this is the chemist's view of the periodic table. So I'm an astronomer, we've got a slightly different view of what a periodic table looks like. So here's an astronomer's version. We've got hydrogen, we've got helium, and everything else we lump together and we call them metals. Now, we, there's a number of reasons for doing this. Firstly, obviously, it will wind up chemists, which is def definitely a bonus, but uh, there is, actually there's an, there are two important reasons for this. We think hydrogen and helium are basically primordial. They were cooked up in the first 20 minutes of the Big Bang, so the vast majority of the hydrogen and helium that we see was produced in the very, very early stages of our universe. Whereas the metals, and chemists will hate us for calling oxygen and nitrogen metals, but everything else that we call metals were actually cooked up in stars. Uh, and the heavier elements, heavier than iron, were cooked up in supernova explosions when stars die. So these are all produced by astrophysical processes, whereas most of the hydrogen and helium was produced in the Big Bang. And in fact, we have a term we call metallicity. Basically, how much of this stuff there is relative to hydrogen. And formally, it's defined as uh, basically the relative amounts of iron to hydrogen. Iron plays a quite a key role in this whole process. And the relative amounts of iron to hydrogen tells us how, basically how many generations of stars we've had in a galaxy. So this shockwave from the supernova spreads out at velocities of tens of thousands of kilometers per second 